हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल रोबो मैम्स क्लासेस रिप्रेजेंट 5 अपॉन 3 एंड माइनस 5 अपॉन 3 ऑन अ नंबर लाइन ओके लेट्स सी हाउ टू डू दैट नाउ से वन इज 5 अपॉन 3 ओके एंड अदर वन इज माइनस 5 अपॉन 3 ओके सो वन इज पॉजिटिव वन इज नेगेटिव सो वन वुड बी टुवर्ड्स द राइट हैंड साइड एंड वन वुड बी टुवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड दैट मींस यू आर अवेयर ऑफ नाउ नेक्स्ट व्हाट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू सी द न्यूमिरेटर of this rational number okay now see here 5 upon 3 you have got yes all right you have got 5 upon 3 this numerator is greater than denominator so whenever numerator is greater than denominator to see where that rational number exactly would lie you need to divide 5 upon okay, upon 3 so divide 5 by 3 3 ones are 3 so 2 okay so that means 5 upon 3 would lie between 1 and 2 all right okay now let's do That means this five upon three, this rational number would lie between one and two, and this will lie between minus one and minus two. Now let's see, draw one number line, zero here, so it would lie between one and two. This would lie between minus one and minus two. All right, so zero here minus one, minus two here one and two. All right, how many parts we need to make? See here. Denominator is three. That means we need to make three parts. Okay, so equal parts. One, two. Yes. Whenever you have to make three now, okay parts, you have to draw two lines. Children, what do they do? Three parts. They'll make okay three lines. Then they'll have four parts. Okay. If you draw three, if you want three parts, you have to draw two lines. Okay. Not only children, but adults also do this mistake. Okay. You want three parts, so draw two lines. One, two, three. Same way here also. One, two. Okay. Have you got three equal parts? Now see here, it will lie between one and two. Denominator is three. All right. So how do you write so that you will get one? So in numerator we will write three. So three divided by three will get one. Here two is there. So denominator of first since it is three here. So what would we write in numerator so that we get six? We get two. Yes. Fine. Now if this one is three upon three, this one would be four upon three. Yes. This one would be five upon three. All right. Same way. This is minus one. So denominator three is there. So what would you write in numerator so that after dividing you will get minus one. So you need to write minus three. All right. Same way. Denominator of course three. Now what would you write in numerator so that after division you get minus two. So what will you write? We we'll write minus six. Yes. Okay. So if this one is minus three upon three, next would be minus four upon three. Next would be minus five upon three. Yes. All right. So now your required rational number one is here, and the other one is here. Got it? So this is how we need to show rational numbers on a number line. Only you need to remember whether the numerator is smaller or greater. Your numerator was greater. Okay. So this is how we did it. 